The purpose of this module is to show how to change the location of a flat file data object. As a part of this module, we will first create a flat file data object within the developer client, demonstrate uh, what the default location of the flat file data object is, and then change the location of the data object. For the purpose of this demo, we will be using uh, the version 951 Hotfix 3 and the developer client. So at this point we have logged into a model repository service using the developer client. Let us first create a flat file data object. For that let us use this uh, project called demo and we right click on that select new select data object and we can select flat file data object. Click next we can either create it as empty, meaning we can define the structure of the flat, uh, of the object, or we can create from an existing flat file, in which case we can select the browse button and it will, uh, and then you will have to pick the flat file from uh, a folder on your desktop or laptop where the developer client is running. For now, we shall cancel this and choose create as empty. We give it a name. Let us just call it test ff just for the sake of giving a name. Click next. Let us say it is delimited and the delimiter is comma, no quotes, and we click finish. So now the flat file data object is created and there are no columns, so we can just add a couple of columns here. Let's just say a couple of columns of type string with precision 10. We also need to see where the default location of the file is going to be. So for this, if we look in the outline panel and there is a read and if we select output, there is the option for runtime. And let me expand this here. So as you can see in the runtime, the section file says the source file name is testff.dat and the source directory, it points to something called source there and there's a parameter here. This source there value by default is the value that is specified at the data integration service level. It is a property of the data integration service as we can see from the admin console. So if we go to the admin console for the data integration service, this is the module, uh, this is the domain that the model repository service is residing in. And if we select the processes tab of the DIS, and if we scroll down, we can see source directory is dot slash source. So this will be in the Tomcat temp there will be a directory called source and that is where the file is expected to reside. Now we can either change the location in the developer client for the particular file. We can give any location that we want. The only caveat is that whatever location you were to specify for the file, it has to be a location that the data integration service can access. This is because any operation done on that file, such as either doing a data preview or using it in a map or running a profile, all of these essentially kick off uh, maps underneath. And these maps are executed by the data integration service and therefore the DIS has to have access to these uh, file, the location where the file is residing. Otherwise the operation will fail. So as I mentioned earlier, the default location of the flat file is expected to be in the Tomcat bin source directory. And we can see the directory over here. So if we cd to source, and just for the sake of this demonstration, let us create a flat file with uh, a couple of uh, columns of data. Uh, a single row will suffice. So if I were to just say, Echo so this creates a single line with uh, xx as column 1 and yy as column 2 
and now when I run the data viewer I should see those values as you can see you can see the uh, data that was in the source file the location was the source there of course if it is not if it is not required that the file be in uh, the source directory then you can always modify the location you can basically just edit this to add what uh, to replace that value with whatever is the directory location uh, where this file will reside uh, as i mentioned before the only uh, thing to keep in mind is that this has to be a location that the data integration service can access Another thing to remember is while creating this flat file, if you were to choose a location, uh, if you had chosen the option of saying browse to basically pick the file from uh, your laptop or desktop, then that file would need to be FTP'd over to uh, this location, the source file directory. And that concludes this module. As always, we would like to hear back from you. You can always send feedback via email to support videos at informatica.com or via Twitter to twitter.com slash infasupport.